What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collection. So this is uh, volume one, and this is the first 12 issues of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book series, along with a few of the one-offs. Like, they have the Raphael one-off, the Michelangelo, the Leo, the Don, Donatello, and the Splinter one-off. Uh, so, as you guys can see, there's a cool little bookmark that's actually attached to the graphic novel, which I thought was really nice. Really like the gray pages like this in the beginning. Really cool. Got the shadowing over there. And just uh, some artwork. I'll show you guys the table of contents real quick. So, as you guys can see, like I said, the 12, um, the 12 issues along with some of the one-off issues. And like I said, I've never read any of the comic books before. This is my first time. So I learned a lot of new things with this. Like one thing I learned is that Shredder doesn't show up until issue 10. That's when he actually becomes like uh, revealed as like one of the main villains. So that was pretty interesting to me because I thought he was always there from the beginning. And clearly he wasn't. Another thing I learned was that like the turtles wearing the red bandanas. They were wearing that because they were all trying to find Raphael. And then the villain on the left-hand side there is Hobbs, which is one of the first villains you see in the comic book, which, once again, never heard of this guy, never knew who he was. So those are things that were pretty interesting to me. Uh, April working at the lab where Splinter was and the Turtles were. like That's how they uh, mutated and stuff like that. So they were kind of uh, uh, testing him. You got Baxter Stockman, who was already... Uh, revealed in the comic book as well on in issue one so it, it was really cool it was different like i i didn't see it going this way but this is really cool i'm very glad i was able to do it here's another thing casey jones living with his father and his father's a, a very abusive drunk so that was another cool thing so that's some really nice artwork yeah i love the, the the art style it's very different you know what i mean like the turtles look a little bit thinner compared to what you would normally think but I'm not going to show you guys every single page, obviously. I just kind of want to show you some of the artwork and kind of talk a little bit about the story. Um, I really enjoyed this this um, this graphic novel. See, like, here's another one. Uh, Alopex, I believe, is, is her name. Another mutant I never heard of, but there she is in the first, I want to say, six or seven issues. I think she pops up in issue six, I believe. Six or seven. Um, but... Yeah, you, I don't know. I kind of learned a bunch of new things. See, now the Turtles have their own colored bandanas now. So once they find Raphael, they bring him back to the family. They each get their own colors. Um, so that was pretty cool. There's the Mousers uh, being introduced. So And the one-offs were pretty cool, too. A nice little touch, a little extra storyline to each thing. See, Krang's already introduced into the story. This is, I think, issue 8, I believe he shows up. 7 or 8. Is when he first shows up. So all these villains have shown up before Shredder. Don't don't get me wrong. There is a teaser of Shredder as a foot soldier in this. But he doesn't fully show up as Shredder until issue uh, the end of issue 9 into issue 10. Like right here, Leo fighting all the foot soldiers on top of the roof. That was kind of cool. So he's all beat up and stuff. So that was, that was pretty neat. Cool story there. So, and there he is, Shredder. This is at the end of issue 9. I would have I would have never known. Uh, Shredder and then there's uh, uh, Kara. Or Karai, I'm sorry. And there he is, issue 10. This is when he's finally the main villain. And he kind of, uh, you know, becomes who we know him as. Like I said, I thought he would have been in issue 1 or 2. But we have all these other guys that showed up way before he did. Um, and another thing that was different, too, is that... Um, like you, while reading this, you get scenes where it's like flashbacks to like ancient Japan. Well, not ancient Japan, but uh, you know, a few years a while back there. And um, I guess the comic is kind of insinuating that the turtles and Splinter are reincarnations of those of those um, of their former selves, which was kind of cool. But uh, definitely different. Didn't didn't know that was their original backstory either. So that that's interesting. I do plan on picking up volume two. And I would love to see where this series goes. But I was just excited to talk to you guys about it because I've never read these. So it's it's enjoy this. I thought this, this was fantastic. And I can't wait to get into part two. So I would love to know what you guys think. Have you guys read this? Or do you plan on reading it? And uh, just, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe.